Let's customize our Yahoo store with our new logo. I'm going to click on the red arrow to put us in beginner mode and click on variables. So that way I can go ahead and upload our new logo. I'm going to look for the variable called name image and click on the upload button, browse, and find our logo file. Click send and click update. Looks good, but we can do better. Let's go into variables again. And one of the things we want to do is make sure that we have the right image size for our logo in the variables. So right underneath the name image, we see image height and image width. Let's go into Adobe Photoshop Elements, click on Image, Resize, Image Size. Here we're given the width and the height in pixels. We want to take those dimensions and make sure that we put those into our Yahoo Store variables. This will allow the logo to show in full size. After we do that, we can go ahead and change the background color to match the color that we used in the background of our logo. We're looking for the variable called header background color and I'm going to enter in the six digit code for the color white or you can click on choose a color and pick out the color white. And we're going to click update to see the changes. Looking good, but those green buttons have got to go. We're going to go ahead and use white with blue links. Let's click on variables to make those changes. Do you see all that text underneath each of the variables? Well, that text is telling us what each and every variable will change and what it will do to our store. And that's really helpful. If you don't see that text, go up to the very top next to your update button and click on the help. That help button will make sure that all of the variables will have this text underneath and tell you exactly what they're for. Now, we're trying to change the links that are in our header, but the variable does not show up underneath the header area. That's okay. We need to go back down just a little bit more to the navigation links area because it's part of our global navigation. Here we can change the background color, the hover color, text color, all the things that we need to do. So what color do we change it to? Well, we can go into Adobe Photoshop, click on our color, and run our mouse over our logo. And this will help us to pick a color from our logo and match it up perfectly. We can copy the hex code, go into the global navigation text link color, and paste that color in there. And let's go ahead and make our border color white, and let's make the background color white because we just want to have a nice white background with blue links. If you're not sure what the variable does, update one variable, click update, and do it again. All right, so now what we're trying to do is get a little bit darker of a color. So I go into the color scheme and I can drag that little thing down to pick out a darker color. And I want to use that darker color as what they call a hover color. What's a hover color? Well, when you put your mouse over a link and it changes color, that's a hover color. All right, so things are looking good, but we want to make some more changes. And we have that pretty dark blue and we want to change where our search background is to that really dark blue because that is a beautiful color. And let's go ahead and click the update button. Looking good. But that footer color, not looking good. So we need to also make changes to that. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down and change the footer background color. Now, I like to cheat and use the control F on your keyboard and put in footer and it will take me right to it. Take you right to the footer, right where it says footer on the screen. Okay, so 
we made the changes, we click update, and look at that. Matches up perfectly. All right, so as you can see, we're just going through each of the different areas in our variables and making those small changes to the Yahoo store. If we need different colors from our logo, all we have to do is click on the color scheme and then run our mouse over and we just click on it and it gives us a new color that we can use. And we can use these different colors in our Yahoo store. We can use them for background colors. We can use them for highlighting. We can use them for text links. Basically, we can use these colors for whatever we need to and input them to create a beautiful new custom design. For instance, I'm putting in here that I want to have the actual search name in that light blue. And I'm saying that I want the custom navigation background color to be in the light blue. And let's go ahead and change a couple of other things like the message title background color and the specials title background color. Anytime that I see that light background color in the variables that were there from the other color scheme, I'm just going to replace it with my light background and see how it looks. And I can just keep scrolling down to the different ones and when I'm all done, I can click on the update and see my changes.